Hello children. Today we will start with the second part of your chapter matter and this is about the molecular arrangement in solids, liquids and gases. A substance can exist in different states because of the differences in the arrangement of its molecules. The molecules of a substance are held together by a force of attraction between them and this force is known as the intermolecular force of attraction. Molecules that lie close attract one another more strongly than molecules that lie far apart. Now, depending upon the strength of intermolecular force, the spaces between the molecules vary from different states of for different states of matter. This space is known as intermolecular space. So, we'll discuss about this. A substance can be in any state of matter depending on the intermolecular force and the intermolecular space between its molecules. Now, we will see the arrangement of molecules in the three states of matter. First, let's see solids. The intermolecular force is the strongest in solids as you can see in this picture. So, the intermolecular space between the molecules and solids is practically absent and the molecules are closely packed together. So, the molecules and solids hardly move about, they only vibrate. This tight arrangement of molecules gives solids a definite shape and a definite volume. Then look at the liquids. The intermolecular force of attraction in liquids is not as strong as that in solids. So the intermolecular space in liquids is more than that in solids and the molecules are less closely packed. The molecules in a liquid can move around within the liquid. That is why liquids have the property of being able to flow. The position of the molecules in a liquid are not fixed. So, the liquids do not have a definite shape. However, they have a definite volume as the molecules remain within the liquid while moving from one position to another. Then look at the gas molecules. The intermolecular force of attraction is negligible in gases. Negligible means we can neglect the intermolecular force of attraction. So, the intermolecular space in gases is the largest in comparison to that in liquids and solids you can see in the picture. As a result, the molecules in gases are very far apart and completely free to move around in any direction. Due to this arrangement, the molecules in gases fill the entire space available to them. So, the gases have no definite shape or volume. They do not have any definite volume or shape. So, after this we have an activity. To show that there are spaces between the molecules of matter, what we have to do? Take some marbles in a beaker. Now, put some sugar crystals over the marbles. What do you observe? We see that sugar fills the spaces between the marbles. We can also add milk, water etc. into it. They all fit in because of intermolecular spaces. If we consider the marbles as molecules, we can say that the sugar crystals have occupied the intermolecular spaces. In a similar manner, solids such as salt and sugar dissolve in water to make solutions. In these solutions, the salt and sugar molecules are randomly distributed among the water molecules. Next, we have cohesive force. Now, what is cohesive force? So, the intermolecular force of attraction between the molecules of the same kind is called cohesive force. Okay, this is the action or property of like molecules sticking together, being mutually attractive. See this picture. Okay. For example, water molecules stick to each other to form a dew drop because of the cohesive force between them. But the drop sticks to the leaf because of adhesive force which you will study later. 
Now I am talking about cohesive force between the molecules of water which form this drop. Okay. When the cohesive force is very strong, the molecules remain almost fixed in their position. When the cohesive force is weak, the molecules start to move around. Now cohesive force is very strong in solids, not so strong in liquids and negligible in gases. In liquids and gases, molecules keep changing their positions. The molecules move randomly, constantly changing their directions. This is called Brownian motion. Now, Brownian motion is faster in gases than liquids. However, it is absent in solids. Right? Brownian motion is absent in solids. Now, the movement of molecules in liquids and gases is random because they collide with each other. They strike with each other, moving molecules. This is that Brownian motion. You can see the zigzag motion. Now, Brownian motion is named after the Scottish scientist Robert Brown. Robert Brown discovered the phenomenon of Brownian motion while observing pollen grains in water through a microscope. Brown saw that the pollen moved around randomly in water. This motion was due to the pollen grains being hit by the invisible water molecules. Okay, so this is about the Brownian motion. It was an unintentional discovery. He was not looking for the effect that now bears his name, but was rather curious about reproduction. This was for biology that he was doing, but we know that this is the motion of the molecule, the zigzag motion of the molecules. So, this is about the molecular arrangement and their effect on the states of matter that is solids, liquids and gases. Thank you children.